a new development involving the driver accused in a DUI crash that killed two teenage passengers in Torrey Pines. Today, 19-year-old Christopher Schmidl pleaded not guilty to all charges. ABC 10 News reporter Mimi Alcala is joining us now live downtown. Mimi, he's being held without bail at this time. He is Kimberly Derrick and he is due back in court for a bail review hearing in just a couple of weeks. Today we heard from the family of one of the victims who shared their strong message. He's a great kid. He was a great kid. This violent crash on Torrey Pine State Beach in late April claimed the lives of two young men, Joshua Manzanares and Johnny Punzalan, both 19 years old. Punzalan's sister Angelina Rosales tells us he had left the Lake Elsinore area for San Diego for a beach trip with friends. He loved the beach. He um, said he would be back later. Did see him leave that day. Sadly, the family would instead get a knock on their door telling them Johnny was killed in a crash. He does have a twin that's really close to him, is really close to him, so it's really hard on him. Um, it's hard on the whole family. You know. San Diego police say the driver of the car, identified as 19-year-old Christopher Schmidl, was suspected of speeding and DUI when he lost control, struck a guardrail, veered off of a ledge, and landed on the beach, killing two passengers and injuring two more. He was arrested at his Morena Valley home and booked into the Vista Jail. Schmidl, you're not guilty. Please enter. Wednesday, Schmidl pleaded not guilty to serious charges, including second degree murder, felony DUI counts, and driving the wrong way on a divided highway. We evaluate each case independently, and when the circumstances warrant it, we will charge murder when a person has driven under the influence and caused the death of another. Rosales says while her family deals with this devastating loss, she hopes it can prevent this from happening to someone else. Maybe other teenagers will learn from this to wear their seatbelt. From what I hear, he didn't have a seatbelt. So no matter how hard, hard it is, don't drink and drive, you know, and you're responsible for everybody in your car, regardless. And Schmidl's preliminary hearing has been scheduled for October. We're live downtown tonight. Mimi Ocala, ABC 10 News. Mimi, thanks.